There's an old saying I like. A mile of road will take you a mile. A mile of runway... will take you anywhere. Taking off isn't hard, but there are a few key points to remember. First, we always take off into the wind, which won't be an issue on a calm day like today. Second, before we enter a runway, we always make sure it's clear. Check to the right to see if a vehicle is on the runway, and to the left to make sure no other planes are approaching. Looks good, no cross traffic. Go ahead and taxi into position. Now slowly taxi onto the runway and align the plane with the center line. Then stop your plane just after the number 21.
Let's position the plane for takeoff. Let's position the plane for takeoff. Keep working on it, you'll get better. All right, let's do this. Apply full power and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Gently pull back on the yoke. Pull back on the yoke to take off. And we're airborne. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple of inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. You put your plane in a dangerous situation. All right, let's do this. Apply full power and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Gently pull back on the yoke. And we're airborne. Line up the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple of inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. You put your plane in a dangerous situation. All right, let's do this. Apply full power and I'll walk you through the takeoff as we go. Use your rudders to stay on the center line and keep pushing power until you reach 55 knots. Good. Now gently pull back on the yoke. And we're airborne. the top of your instrument panel so it's a couple of inches above the horizon. That'll pitch us up and set a good climb attitude. Focus on flying straight. Use your rudders to keep the runway heading of 210 degrees. Maintain 75 knots and we'll reach our target altitude of 5,500 feet in no time. Maintain 75 knots and climb to 5,500 feet. Okay, 5,500 feet. 
You've reached your target altitude. That was a nice takeoff. For this landing exercise, I want you to focus on the yoke only. We're close enough to the runway to land safely without adding any throttle. Maintain a speed of around 65 knots. Pitch down if you're going too slow. Pitch up if you're too fast. Oh, you're talking, which <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay. I instead of unmuting, I turned off my headset. So I hit the wrong button. <laughs> uh I'm in the middle of a landing tutorial. I'm approaching the landing strip. And then you invited me to a party, so of course I paused it. So we'll see what happens. Well, some of these instruments of like I don't know what you're talking about, lady. Knots. But when you're ten feet above the runway, it's time to flare. To flare means to raise the nose of the aircraft to slow your descent for a softer landing, but without ever leveling off or climbing. The main landing gear will touch down before the nose wheel does. Coming up on flare height, resist the temptation to pull back. Now focus on the end of the runway and pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Nice. Now apply the brakes to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. Okay. Well Keep done, in mind that approaching the event. runway at the right speed is key uh, to a good like landing. Uh, looks like it's pretty easy just to invite people, so... I could skip all this, and, uh... I don't skip it. I wanna, s I wanna see how much of a... Oh, you got- you need some time? You need some time? There's like well, a. Well, have you redownload like all 120 whatever gigs of it? Jesus. 
Um, I went into the marketplace. And there's so many things to buy, but I just clicked on free and then I just bought everything free. But a lot of it is like world updates and, and then like a jumbo jet, an aircraft. The Flying Eye Hospital. Because, sure. But, man. Checking for updates. But, man, they want so much money for different things, like different airports and stuff like that. Like, why is it $17? And different planes are like 15 bucks. So they're crazy. It's crazy. Why is it that I just downloaded 125 gigabytes and now I'm. I guess I'm packing 125. What? <laughs> I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's got some, some wacky chill do, music. Wackadoo stuff going on. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, they they streamlined it on the console. Like it, it was just like when it when you you start it, they're like, "Do you want to be like you know?" I like, wonder if that's what this super is. Super installing online? like a. Uh, or you want to be super online like or or like you know or just offline but still need online you know like to be still connected so it can... right because you can do yeah because you can do like full offline mode yeah but then you're not getting into streaming stuff and then you're gonna like hey how much do you want on your hard drive of this stuff or quality yeah and it saves about I think it was 20 gigs or something, according to that article. In this landing exercise, but I'm like, no, give me the focus whole thing. On staying on the glide path using the throttle only. Smooth action on the throttle is key for remaining on the correct glide path. If you find yourself too high, reduce your power. If you're too low, increase it. Remember, though, always make soft corrections. You don't want Very to overcompensate. <laughs> it froze on mine. Uh, the the load screen it froze the first time because it lost internet connection. So the server blimp. I'm still trying to figure out and it why. stopped. I wonder if they like changed, like fundamentally changed the the, the front end of this game or something. Like because again, like it made me download the full game and now it's all I loaded in. It's cool, cool. Mandatory update, 125 gigabytes. Okay. All right. <laughs> Again? More. Now you can use but it's the in, elevator like, it's to in land. game right now. Like, it's in the... It's weird. I mean, can I... Can I close this Xbox thing? Probably. I'm not gonna mess with it. I don't want to restart Reduce this thing. Reduce throttle to idle. Now focus on the end of the runway and pull back slightly on the yoke to aim the nose just above it. Nice. Now apply the brakes to slow us down oh, and I bring bounced. the plane to I a bounced. stop. You did well, but you could do better. <laughs> you did all right, but well, you could buy a Hotas. <laughs> like throws up, throws up a link. There's so much DLC to this. Back to training. <clears throat> Apparently, uh, they rebuilt it. So, like, whatever, fi when you finally get your new version going, it's supposed to run a whole lot better, too. Yeah, I'm really wondering, like, if that's what this is. Like, it's just basically, it's a fresh install. Like, hey, 
here's the new version of the game. Yeah, it seems like seems like I that's that's kind of what they did was like they rebuilt it from the ground up to uh, as I'm much sure as they, they also could. Added like a a dummy <laughs> mode. It's like you want to just fly around and stuff. <laughs> Pretty sure they My had first that instructor too. used to say, "The best way yeah, to fly is landing in one while piece." Well, I have, I have the side by side. Today, you're in charge of bringing us in for a safe landing. Very slow and slow. And I've already set us up in landing configuration at 65 knots with 10 it's a little of flaps on and the, idle power. On the Xbox, but keep your aim point on the runway threshold. When you're 10 feet above the runway, it's time to flare. It's just the first Where's version. Oh. Yeah, I wonder. Digital Foundry has done a video on this. Probably. Probably. And if they haven't, they will. Yeah, and then they're then they're gonna have a whole section on the Series S and how that thing runs. <laughs> <laughs> they'll build. They'll be really nice about it. <laughs> it's a thing that exists. Right. Again, it's it's part of yeah. It's part of the. Hey, this is this is also on this system, and we're telling you how it runs on all the systems. So here's how it runs on that system. Where are you, by the way? This thing, uh, the tutorial sends you to like Sedona. I don't like, know. Go why. to the desert. I don't know why, but. All tutorial stuff is in Sedona, Arizona. Hmm. Sedona, Arizona? Is that correct? I think it is. Yeah. I like how it's like, follow the glide scope slope, and I'm like, I don't see any of that. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a button. Oh yeah, so the way or it works, uh, or it's one of those knobs to bring up the to bring up the menu. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> oh god! It's okay. Just land the plane. Reduce throttle to idle. Now focus on the end of the runway and pull this. back slightly on the yoke to talking. aim the nose just above it. That's what the lady's gonna say. Nice. Now nice. apply the brakes to slow us down and bring the plane to a stop. You did well, but you can do better. Yeah, uh, the way this works is like. Uh, on the controller, you can click the, the, runway at the, the right left speed ana is analog key to stick a good in landing. that brings up this menu, the cursor thing, and then you use this cursor to navigate these menus. It's not the best. Makes sense. Not the best. But, but it, but it's, but it's, I mean, it's a lot of controls that you're putting onto it, so. Yeah, and then when you look at the cockpit controls, it's like, oh my god. Follow a track. Right, because you're, pattern you're in a Cessna, which is land. like one of the more pretty sure those Cessnas are like base level instruments and such. This training session. See, so that's the pattern. But how how do I find this? It's probably in your like settings menu. Like visual settings, yeah. It's gotta be like some kind of thing, like like it's not on by default because you don't usually see that. <laughs> but I... Even though it tells you, like, to follow this thing. What a jerk! Okay, so said the smart cam system. So talk about the smart cam general, system. General, general options. Uh, I like how graphics is just like HDR. Uh, camera selection, quick view function. 
wide angle. Home cockpit mode. What is that? I'm pretty sure that's for people that spend a bunch of money on a bunch of like. No, you turn that like... on. Does it like? No, it's just places the camera in the center of the cockpit and disables the virtual cockpit from rendering. Right, because then it's for people that yeah, it's for people that have their own instruments, so it doesn't show any of the instruments on screen. Oh, it's all in front of you. <laughs> Yeah, so so that they can then make the image be like the image that you're seeing out the front window. That's funny. And then they have they have their own knobs and stuff like that. Uh, traffic. That's, t- that's totally what that's for. That's cool though. Show traffic nameplate. Sure. I did turn on like if we fly in the 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 real world stuff, the live world. Uh, I turned on live traffic, so I don't even know what that that is gonna be, but we'll see. It's great. It's it's totally like piped in air traffic stuff, like spatial sound stuff like that. Spatial sound. Now I think it's back out a menu and up to like top right hand corner. This is this is all Assistance I get. Option. This is all I get. Assistance options. Assistance options. Yeah, I got it. Uh, I know I forgot delay. There's nothing. <laughs> this it's all turned off. Like yeah, navigation aids. Everything's like uneasy. Weird, but it's grayed out. Yeah. Accessibility, maybe? <laughs> Current data consumption. Oh, yeah. For streaming data. I mean, if we start flying around the world, that's totally what's going to happen. Yeah. And they're like, they give you all these warnings like, hey, if you don't have, if you have a data cap, hey, so does call- you might so does want call to watch out for that. So. so does Call of Duty, as they're just hogging your system. <laughs> <laughs> Credits Xbox version. Uh... All right, we'll see what happens. Okay, we're currently flying on the downwind leg at the standard traffic pattern altitude of six thousand feet. It's a flight path parallel to the landing runway, but in the opposite direction. In downwind, you want to start preparing for landing. Maybe? Oh, Jesus. That means setting your speed and flaps configuration. Reduce speed to 80 knots. Maintain constant altitude and heading. The flaps provide extra lift at the expense of additional drag. This extra lift allows flying at a lower airspeed. Flaps allow for smoother and shorter landings. Go ahead oh, and extend ten degrees of flaps, all while Did maintaining they add that current so you altitude. Yeah, it's a, yeah, you can. It's a co-pilot, uh, co-pilot camera, apparently. Also, this is terrible. Like, I have to close We're all fly the past menus. The end of the runway here. Keep going till you see it at a 45 degree angle behind you. That's your cue to turn left onto play. the base leg. Yeah. Well, no, I have to close all the menus so they go away. Uh, right. Okay, now back to the... Oops, oops, oops. Maintain 80 knots. I am way under that. I'm going to restart this. There was a whole lot of menu tinkering. Got me into trouble. 
Okay, we're currently flying on the downwind leg at the standard locate. traffic pattern altitude of 6,000 feet. It's a flight path parallel to the landing runway, but in the opposite no. direction. It disappeared. In downwind, you want to start oh, yeah, no, preparing for landing. That means setting your speed and flaps configuration. Reduce speed to 80 knots. Maintain constant altitude and heading. The flaps provide extra lift at the expense of additional drag. This extra lift allows flying at a lower airspeed. Flaps allow for smoother and shorter landings. Go ahead and extend 10 degrees of flaps, all while maintaining current altitude. We're gonna fly past the end of the runway here. Keep going until you see it at a 45 degree angle behind you. That's your cue to turn left onto the base leg. That's what they mean. Is like these those things points are your points, yeah. Like that's all you get. Try to maintain fourteen hundred RPM. That'll also keep our speed around 65 knots. Keep an eye on the runway as we get ready for our final turn. Turn left onto final. Make your left turn onto final. Keep a stabilized approach and prepare for landing. Though. Whatever, lady. Hey, you could use a little more practice with your accuracy, okay? Wait, did you get a C rating with that? Yes, she gave me a C rating. <clears throat> she was not happy. Oh boy. Fifty, sixty-five, fifty-five, seventy-five, seventy-five, eighty. Okay. 
We just doing like a loop trail? It looks like it. The the trial was like first solo flight. Man, I hope I can skip all of that. I you can. Like you don't have to do any of that. Oh. Um, when I booted in, it highlighted like here, destination flight. And I just flew around New York not knowing what the crap I was doing. <laughs> It right. just threw me into a plane, and that's it. So it's time that, that's for your what first I solo flight. Oh yeah, I'll you be watching totally, from the ground in radio totally contact if you need me. But something tells me you won't. Your goal is to complete Sedona's left-hand traffic 51. pattern on your own. <laughs> Remember what we covered in our previous sessions, and you'll be just fine. Good luck. See you on the other side. Well, I, I'm trying to remember what the actual, like, fully rendered cities are, because, like, those are the ones that are cool to go to, specifically. They are marked. Uh, there's a bunch of are they the that... and yeah. then And then I went to... Um, I flew to Chicago. Like, I started at the airport that's right here. Um... And I didn't, but I didn't fly like downtown or anything like that. So it looked really good until I got really close, and I'm like, I can't see anything because of trees, and this is really ugly. Yeah, it goes from spectacular to the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> very quickly. Um, very quickly. Darn, I can't read. Reach the end of the upwind lake. Reach 5,700 <laughs> feet. 75 knots, okay. So this is totally downloading 125 gigabyte patch, but at a much lower rate than anything else that downloads on PC. Weird. That's what's going on right now. And it's not because I'm watching your stream, because... No, that's like nothing. I have, I, I, no, I'm like... It's just because it's through the launcher, probably? I probably should have done this earlier. Maybe it was going to be like this. <laughs> I'm at 100, 187 out of 334. I didn't get high enough. And I'm not going fast enough either. Faster and higher. No. air rifles turning heads with futuristic looks. <laughs> Thanks. 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 <laughs>
one article I saw was like China dominating and powerlifting. <laughs> like, uh huh, sure. Yeah, I totally forgot to say something that they had in uh, that Olympic game that almost looks like it'd be like a Wii Sports hit looking Olympic game. Yeah. Uh, was free on Xbox and Steam on the weekend. Oh. But it was, but it was only till like Sunday. Oh. And then I was all, oh yeah, I totally, totally forgot to play about that one because we could have totally played a free Olympic game. <laughs> NBC or something, or like on their streaming app. I'm just assuming it's the yeah, or NBC just, or ABC. Just the, just the regular, the the Peacock thing or whatever. Mm, right, Peacock. Because like a certain level of that is just free, right? Yeah, I, I get it free like, only because of uh, uh, I have I have uh, basically Peacock. I have Comcast internet, right? So it's just like, oh, it's free as part of that. So. The, the, the big thing for me is that the WWE network got rolled into that, so I don't have to pay 10 extra dollars anymore. Oh, yeah, easy. Idea. Uh, what You're on your way to becoming one hell of a pilot. One hell of a pilot. Go try to find Machu Picchu. Little Drake action, pretty much. Sully and Nathan Drake headed out on their little yep. plane.
Today we're going to leave our familiar airport of Sedona and venture south to reach Flagstaff Airport. Oh boy. To guide us, we will rely on the nav log. It references the different legs necessary to reach our final destination. Our first goal is to fly over the runway center at 6,500 feet with a heading of 41 degrees. By doing so, we will be perfectly set up to engage with the first leg of the nav log. After takeoff, we will continue crosswind as if we were following the standard traffic pattern. However, we won't turn down wind. Instead, we will continue climbing to 6,500 feet before turning on course toward the runway center. Give me everything. Okay, you can take off whenever you're ready. Oh, they stopped me. <laughs> They're like, no, shut up and listen. <laughs> It's rumbly. It's rumbly. Nice command during takeoff. Oh, thank you. Your target altitude is 6,500 feet. That's 500 feet above the traffic pattern, as we don't want to interfere with incoming aircraft. <laughs> this is terrible. As you climb, turn left so you stay in the vicinity of the airport. Maintain 75 knots. Five knots. Why it says departure position. Maintain seventy five knots. You took a bit too long to reach the target altitude. You want to climb faster to reach a safe altitude. To ensure accurate navigation, you want an accurate starting point. And what's more accurate than the runway you just departed from? 
Go ahead and position your plane above the airport. Maintain 6,500 feet. Maintain 6,500 feet. Mm -hmm. Maintain 6,500 feet. Maintain 6,500 feet. version runs on DirectX 12. Mm -hmm. The PC version is still on it's DirectX still, Yeah, yeah. They, they wanted to tackle the CPU usage and all that stuff first. Mm -hmm. Take a 41 degree heading? What does that even mean? 41 degrees. Maintain 6,500 feet. Maintain 6,500 feet. Maintain 6,500 feet. That means. What did I miss? Oh, that was something. Five hundred feet. Maintain sixty five hundred feet. Uh, maintain. Aircraft above runway center. Position. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's meant by that is do a barrel roll. <laughs> Maintain 6,500 feet. Also, blah, Five hundred feet. Maintain sixty five hundred feet. Oh, my God. Forty-one degree heading. How do I tell what the forty-one is? It should be on one of your dials.
Mm, okay, I see. I gotta go all the way around. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. Restarting that. You let me know when you're ready. Uh, I'm at 270 out of three. Today we're going to leave our familiar airport of Sedona and venture south to reach Flagstaff Airport. Like, is it 31 percent? To guide us, we will rely on the nav but, log. It references the different like legs necessary like to reach our final that I'm destination. In? It's the section I'm in. Our first 31%. goal is to fly over the runway this, center this at 6,500 feet with a heading of 41 degrees. By doing so, we will be perfectly set up to engage with the first leg like of the navlog. Well like, After takeoff, the whole thing we will continue crosswind as if we were following the standard traffic well, that's pattern. that's literally what just happened. However, we won't turn down wind. Instead, like we will continue updated. climbing to 6,500 feet before turning on course toward the runway center. Okay, you can take off whenever you're ready. few taps here and there on buttons. Yeah, but like toggle knobs and commands and stuff like that and menus. Yeah. I, mean, I assume they it says they did like major engine changes, but I wonder how much they did to the like is the PC interface basically the same as yours only like a mouse cursor? Yeah. Everything is tied and here it's everything's tied to the to the sticks so I'm just wondering, right. like, how, like, you know, the, it's a little more natural to pull down on the analog stick than what, I don't know what you have. <laughs> right. Was. Man, what if I could do a hybrid and just have my controller... Maintain 75 knots. Use the keyboard for other stuff. As you climb, turn left so you stay in the vicinity of the airport. Maintain 75 knots. Maintain 75 knots. I can't tell what dial the altitude is, though. Maintain 75 knots. Uh... Vertical speed. Maintain 75 knots. This thing, right? This one? There it is. Maintain 75 knots. You took a bit 
too long to reach the target altitude. You want to climb faster to reach a safe altitude. To ensure accurate navigation, you want an accurate starting point. And what's more accurate than the runway you just departed from? Go ahead and position your plane above the airport. Maintain 6,500 feet. Maintain 6,500 feet. Game, what is the 41 degree angle? Maintain 6,500 feet. <laughs> feet. And I missed it again. Darn it. I got That's it. it for navigation departure. Well done. <laughs> Get me out of here. Oh my god. You've mastered it seventy percent, but you could do better. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's do some airline training. That's the good stuff. Yeah, I figured that was the last thing. I was, like, it's the last thing. Uh, so, just do whatever these random things are. Be conscious of your fuel before diverting. From your route. We're currently at 6,500 feet, about 30 seconds flight time to Sedona Airport. As we make our way toward the runway center, let's talk more about navigation. When you need to set and maintain a heading, you'll want to rely on your heading indicator. Compasses are prone to errors, especially during turns or while accelerating or decelerating. Okay, we're in 
position over the runway center. Next step is to validate the time. That's a fancy way of saying, start your stopwatch. On the nav log, you can see our next waypoint, Munns Park, is at a 41 degree heading about five minutes away. That means we need to be on a 41 degree heading. Check your heading indicator and make your turn. Good. Maintain a 41 degree heading. As you approach Munns Park, the terrain level rises. To maintain a safe altitude, we'd better climb to 8,000 feet. Make sure you keep the same heading. Maintain full power during your climb. Navigation is basically flying a given heading for a given amount of time. Sometimes you deviate. But if you track the time flown from your last known position, you'll always have at least a range for your current position. Now get back to cruise attitude. Let the speed increase, then set cruise power at 2300 RPM. Twenty three hundred RPM, where do I see that? <laughs> set RPM at twenty three hundred. How how I don't remember. Uh, start looking around your knobs. There it is. Check your knobs. This is Munns Park Golf oh, Club. No. We're almost there. Let's proceed over it and see if the <laughs> stopwatch matches the nav log estimation. Next to it was the installation screen. We all know just, speed like, can increase or decrease depending on the wind. And, and That's why at your next sure waypoint, screen. you'll want to compare your estimated time and route with the actual yeah. time flown. Validate your estimate and your progress. Yeah, I don't think that's the case.
Bernie asked me if I want to play 2K. Like, I, I am, I'm currently flying. <laughs> It did say you can like Additional speed it up. Help. Like, Don't worry. Navigation like fast to Munn's Park is in the books. Weird. In case it like you know, there's there's, there's this, you know, depending on how crazy your flight is, right? Like. Oh, that's true. Trying to do a twelve-hour flight in real time. <laughs> <laughs> well, I relaunched it and now it says that I have 74 gigabytes to install. <laughs> uh, will this thing just like time out or something? It's like all that happening. Can I just get to the main menu, please? All right, we're currently at 8,000 feet, approximately 30 seconds out from Munns Park Golf Club. While we fly over it, let's talk about landmark navigation. One of the easier methods of navigation involves following identifiable landmarks like highways, and it just so happens we have one below us. Do you see the highway on your left? That highway leads all the way to Flagstaff. Let's follow it, and we should reach Flagstaff Airport in six to seven minutes. Stopwatch here and start it again. Start your stopwatch. Airport's altitude is around 7,000 feet. Unlike in Sedona, the traffic pattern altitude there is standard. This means its altitude is 1,000 feet above the airport, which works out to 8,000 feet. We need to fly over the airport before entering the traffic pattern. Since we don't want to interfere with other aircraft already in the traffic pattern, let's fly at least 500 feet above pattern altitude. So let's climb to 8,500 feet on the way. 
Keep it at full power while you're climbing. Did you see your dad bot joke? Yeah, Velcro. You're heading to the right. Perfect. Maintain 8,500 feet until we reach the airport. Correct, you're heading to the right. Set RPM at 2,300. Correct, you're heading to the right. Start so I think RPM I gave Malcolm a uh, nightmare fuel. From what? You two suggested been off course for too long. Uh, the Correct, you're heading to the right. Today. Let's start again. Uh, the entire B movie vocoded to Gangster's Paradise. Okay, we're back <laughs> over the highway again. Stick to it so you'll reach the destination. The to make sure we don't miss movie. it, reset your stopwatch uh, here and start it again. But it's like auto-tuned. Everyone's voices are all auto-tuned to a looping Gangsta's Paradise. Um, but that's not the worst part, because then I was like, oh man, have you seen the, the, deep, the deep Dream video of Fear and Loathing? And so I searched for it, and I couldn't find it. But what I did find was a Deep Dream video of Bob Ross, and it is terrifying. Wow. <laughs> and he, he sent me a text. He's like, I, I can't, I can't Flagstaff get Airport's up, altitude is around 7,000 feet. <laughs> Unlike in Sedona, the traffic pattern altitude there is standard. This means its altitude is 1,000 feet above the airport, I just which like works the first out to 8,000 feet. This YouTube video says we need to fly Bob Ross over the airport before entering the traffic pattern. Accurate angel. <laughs> Since we don't want to interfere with other aircraft already in the traffic pattern, let's fly at least 500 feet above pattern altitude. So let's climb I mean, to 8,500 feet like, on the way. Most of that stuff that. Keep it at full power while uh, you're climbing. Most of that deep dream stuff is is borderline terrifying. It's fucking weird. It's a very strange experience watching those. So soothing. <laughs>
Yeah, I was like, uh, oh, the external camera was like super relaxing. Oh yeah, totally. The cockpit view, not so relaxing. This thing's like, oh, follow the, follow this highway, but it's like, how do I follow it if I can't there it is. see over Flagstaff the dashboard? <laughs> On the right side of the highway, you got us here, which is great, but there's definitely room for improvement. You just gotta know, man. Oh, a C? That's all you get. <laughs> all I get. Because you're not doing barrel rolls. <laughs> I'll never make it to the Fox team. So what's actually happening on your end? As I eat some soup? Um, 9.5 out of 74 gigabytes. <laughs> and it might just disappear at some point. Oh my god. PC issues. Flagstaff Airport is right in front of us, and we're currently at 8,500 feet. How many, like, it's every that's that's playing above the this standard game that has to pattern. download that much, basically. Oh yeah, no, that's it's totally a good why altitude to avoid interfering with aircraft already in the pattern. Again, proceed above the terrain, making sure you maintain our current altitude. Fuel valves. on runway 21 coming from the right to the left we'll be following a left-hand traffic pattern as we did in Sedona ready reduce speed to 80 knots and start a turn to the left toward a 120 degree heading I don't know how to tell 120 degree heading again. 
I don't know what the degrees mean. <laughs> As we pass over the runway again, start descending to 8,000 feet, still maintaining 80 knots. You'll enter the pattern in the middle of the downwind leg for runway 21. Turn left to base 21. Good turn. Oh shoot, what the crap? Game that is not lining it up whatsoever. <laughs> adjusting, adjusting. Coming in for the landing.
I think that's it for this, right? Oh, solo. First solo navigation. Complete a VFR flight on your own. soup. Yeah, I forgot to mute and then I saw my name light up. Like, oops. Yeah, am I flight. ready for this? From takeoff to touchdown, it's all you. <laughs> You'll be departing Flagstaff <laughs> Pulliam Airport, handling every navigational step on your way to the It's the return <laughs> trip from your previous lessons. You'll be flying over the same landmarks. You remember them? The highway, Munns Park Golf Club. Choose whatever you're confident with. Dead reckoning, landmark navigation, or both. This is what you've trained for. Just remember everything you've learned. And most of all, enjoy the ride. Draw the rod.
the one problem is going to be like super dark when we hit the skies. Through. Except that stopwatch. God. <laughs> Which way is the park? 221 Whoa. degrees. Two twenty one. What? Oh no. Uh, can you help me with uh, any idea what two twenty one degrees? <laughs> I would say. What like is two hundred twenty-one degrees heading? Like, isn't that like three hundred sixty degrees? degrees? Is equivalent to a heading of three thousand eight hundred and fifty-seven milliradians. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Very informative. I feel so much more informed. <laughs> It has to be in relation to one of your, uh, your one of your dials. 
but I would think it would be like direction based on 360 degrees. So 221 but that seem right. 221 would just be sort of like northwest-ish. Northwest. Right, that makes sense, right? If it's like a circle. But see, I think you're supposed to be linking that with the swing that's on your dial. Yeah. That's what which dial it is. The it definitely like has the plane diagram on it, maybe. The second one in from the left bottom row. Which one? Which one? Second one uh, in, bottom row. Bottom row, second bottom one in. The left? That, yeah, that I was, that's the compass thing. Oh yeah, heading compass. It's totally good. I just don't know how to read it. Like, it's like 221. Like, there's nothing on here. 221. Well, you can interact with it, right? And it'll zoom in on mm. it or something. It just had encompass. I, I, uh oh. Oh, oh. Oh, okay. But it's just turning. Okay, now I turned it, now what? Now it's been turned. <laughs> like, okay, I turned it. I turned it, now what do I do? 221. How do I reset this? I gotta go to 21, I guess? I think that's just setting your baseline to north, so you fly north and then... Everything's fine. Oh man, I got a, a oh jeez, a photo of Chicago's first NFT gallery. Oh yeah. Direction game. Can't you like look out your window? I can look out my window. Is that is that what I need? Mons Park Golf no. Golf Course. No, you need Sedona, oh, right? It's like, you landing it's on like golf white. Course? White on white, I can't read that game. Sedona is the other one. Oh, there is something written in there. KSEZ. Yeah, that's probably the airport. Yeah, it's probably the airport. Where though? Where is the 
golf course. Of course. I don't know which way the golf course is. So very easy. I don't even know. <laughs> Maybe that's it right there. Maybe. I want to put you full screen, but I don't want to. When did it disappear? Right. It made such progress. Uh, we call GPS tracking on. Maybe if you turn on GPS tracking, that would make it easier. Uh, GPS tracking just zooms in on the plane. Oh. So oh, yeah, that's your airport though, to your left. Yeah, see, so when I do that, it zooms in on the plane. I'm guessing that that has to be. I can't zoom in. Oh, I can. Huh? AZ-77. So I'm looking for KSEZ. KSEZ. Oh my god, there it is. I'm going the opposite direction. Yeah, you are. Still on track? I don't 
And you've been installing for like two hours with this Microsoft. I know. Well, it's funny because when I first installed this, it totally took this long too. It's freaking it out. It took a while. It took a while. I wonder if it's a Games Pass thing. Probably not.
that stupid highway they want me to follow. Taking forever. <laughs> Taking the city crap.
Scott just asked me how long the tutorial is. Um, yeah. Did I not reach the golf course? <laughs> oh my god. I'm at 85%. Good. So, so I'm going to make a, a peanut butter smoothie real quick. <laughs> and I'm going to come back. We'll see if you've landed or in the next state by then. <laughs> uh, or, or this thing is down I don't, I, I think Scott should be able to join the party, right? Like, I didn't sound like a private party or anything. Yeah, I think he just got out. So I don't know when he's going to start flying. But... Alright, well, I'll be back in five minutes. Okay. See if you land your plane then. <laughs> Alright, no, no. Nah.
<laughs> so much for that autopilot. Come back Dead and you're a loading screen. Yeah, I uh, I this stepped away. For. I put it in Just autopilot. Everything you've learned. And, uh, and, and I went to the all, bathroom. Enjoy the ride. And I came back and we were looking straight <laughs> at. We were looking at trees. Okay. <laughs> it's not really autopilot, game. I mean, autopilot in real life is just like you set a bearing and then it goes in that bearing or that direction or whatever. Yeah, but it's like I have no control, right? Like I, I put it in right. menu, this menu mode, right? It's supposed to just hold whatever you're doing because this isn't this isn't <laughs> this isn't part of real life. This UI here, <laughs> so yeah, ridiculous. Ridiculous. And then uh, when you stepped away, I tried to land at the at that airport at the golf course, and it's like. And it just stopped me, like, you're not supposed to land here. <laughs> oh. Oh, what? What? Do barrel rolls. Also, since I sat back down, this thing has been decompressing. FS base OGI 0.1.63, FS package 026. Uh, for for the entire time I've been sitting here since I got back, so they hanged out nice up percent. Hope it didn't break. take off so they just have this little airspace to get even higher yep oh no
I like pause it. And I should have done that five minutes ago. Pause something? Oh, pause the download and then just resume it so it actually. Oh, it resets. I think it just got stuck. Yeah, I think it just got stuck. Come on, you stupid plane. Climb! Climb! Did you end up watching that Woodstock thing yesterday? I did. It was very weird. Uh, the my the only weird thing was like the the guy talking about uh, like look at all the white people singing DMX's song, like, and it's like this isn't happening anywhere else in 1999. Like <laughs> <laughs> that's uh that no. Nah. I went to a dead press show once. <laughs> and just like and people just singing and it was a the sea song. Of white people. The, <laughs> the people singing the songs like right back right. at them. I, I, like, I, I myself, like again, like <laughs> someone that that, that uh, I grew up like in the, the Seattle hip hop scene, right? Like yeah. Yeah. There, I mean, there's just a lot there's a lot of white people, man, like yeah, no, I'm like, I mean, we weren't, you're looking we weren't at it from, fans, you're but. looking at, you're looking at it from a 2021 perspective, right. and it's, and it's weird, but like, in 99, like, you know, it was kind of, like, starting, but like, it wasn't really like, oh, no, you shouldn't, like, you can't, right, you can't say this, but, because it's, you're, you're like, repeating the lyrics, but then nobody, I don't, 1999, no one's giving like any thought into what song that they're singing. I mean, look at I the mean, look at the Lip Biscuit song, and that wasn't even a thing. So, right. But like again, as someone like you, it, it, it's just there are words you just don't sing along with, right? <laughs> like, I listen to like Dead Prez and like Brother Lynch and stuff like that. Like, yeah, there's a lot of people yeah, that sang just, back at the time. Like, oh, I'm sure there was. I mean, I had people in my friend circle that were more than happy to sing back, right? Like, and it, it wasn't like a shock to... It didn't look like it was a shock to DMX at all. Like, he was just like, no. <laughs> He's stopping and, like, letting people sing his lyrics. Like, okay. But, yeah, you know, what's funny, like, what's funny is, like, uh, I, uh... I didn't know. Okay, the the one thing, the the awesome thing was watching Jonathan Davis like leave everything on the stage because of the adrenaline rush when he saw that crowd and everything. And I love the and then he just the passed. Nice He's like, I passed out. Like I had this out of body experience. And uh, what's the coolest part about that is we were talking about how they had like separate sound stages but the, the, the sound travels yeah you can see so there was, it like, all the way across a delay. the field. <laughs> yeah there was literally a delay in the, in the crowd the reaction. reaction yeah crazy because of how many people were there like, crazy that's insane <laughs> and then the, the other part that I really loved was uh, the mayor asking Anthony Kiedis to calm the crowd down <laughs> <laughs> right and then so and he then puts they, up. <laughs> but but I'm like I'm thinking like dude my bassist like penis is out already. I don't think you're talking to the right person. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> my 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 bassist dick is out. I <laughs> <laughs> 
things are already on fire. Sure, sure. Time, time to settle down. Let's we'll settle, we'll settle down. Yeah, I'll go out. Sure, I'll go out there and like calm everything down. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and then the the crazy Why? the crazy scapegoating on um, Limp Biscuit, like you know, like you brought him in there to be a moron, and then they're like, oh, you're a moron. Right, he was on brand Fred Durst. Like, and, and, uh, and they point it doesn't that out help. Like, hey. It doesn't help that they put Limp Bizkit, Rage, and then like Metallica I was say, back to back to back. I was gonna say, <laughs> like, and again, like, like Rage Against the Machine, like, is more like just a poignant. Like, I mean, it, it's it, Limp Bizkit was dumb in subject material, right? Yeah. But. But like Rage Against the Machine was political, like was very brutal against their own government and you know the U.S. government, and were like burning a flag on stage. Yes, you know, like yes, they, yes, they, you know, yes like, they were. Yes, they were. So <laughs> yeah. But then like the random like you know single female act each day but like like as if that that was like right before all the the very angry bands left and right so mm -hmm. <clears throat> i actually didn't know i always thought uh, um chili peppers closed the place out i didn't know that for whatever reason like mega death was the final band to close it out I had no idea. This seems weird. No idea. So. <clears throat> you want me to close it down? Like, you want me to calm down the crowd? I got the perfect song to play. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid trek to the golf course. I hate it. I've been streaming for 161 minutes, and you're still installed. I'm actually, no, I'm, I'm, I'm booting it. Oh, you're booting it? Mm -hmm. Awesome. It just had me, you wanted me to put my settings on ultra, <laughs> like, no. Ultra? Stop that shit. But I think, <laughs> I think your computer can handle it though now, like the new version. Oh, that's like, true. With no problem. Yeah. Hey, do not open window above 143 knots. That's a pretty sound advice. Is there a get and download all free? No. It's very glitchy menu too. It's my first screen. Nope, now there's a little hiccup. I had to say something.
should be two minutes, 30 seconds left to get to this golf course. Yeah, if it's the same menu as as mine, it, I saw like a there's like a social thing, and it shows like almost looks like a notification box, and it says offline. So I should be showing up now. There it is. Invited a group. I mean. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> That's the best part. Yeah, you know what? Let me go to your... Because there's no guarantee that this is going to work and it's going to take forever. Uh, send me another one because I don't know what happened there. Uh, game? <laughs> no? Alright, give me a second. I got 50 seconds left on this thing. That's true, I could just cap it at 60 frames. That's what I probably should do. Somebody said that they were running it at 8. Something like that. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the main menu. I'll invite you, and we'll see what happens. Okay. Invite to group. My hanger just has one thing in it. I'll change uh, the aircraft. I should probably switch to the private jet. Because that's what I'm flying. <laughs> get, those, get those 
prop planes out of here. Oh god. Ah oh, god. Textron Aviation? King yep, Air? <clears throat> I'm pretty sure there's only one that's like a, a jet. Am I in your group now? Uh, I think you were, but then you weren't. Because it did light up. I tried again. Nothing. I get the invite. And then nothing happens, huh? Yeah. Can I join from this screen? No. Uh, go ahead and invite me. I mean, wouldn't it be hilarious if after all of this we can't actually play because it's one of those random mismatch versions thing? That would be nuts. Oh, group invitation received. Accept. Okay, okay. Okay, now we're in the same group. Alright, that was a notification in my, in my little menu here, not the... And not the other thing. So you're the group leader. I don't know why there's an exclamation point on the... Oh, because like half the stuff isn't installed yet? Oh boy. Oh, I, I have an exclamation point on on the marketplace, so I think it's maybe I don't have enough space. Figure that out. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and delete a game. Oh yeah, we're gonna fly right into the night. Game, is that enough space? Oh, everything says it's waiting. Okay, it's a lot of downloads. It's very unfortunate that even though I own it, it didn't, it just stopped downloading. Okay. 
I'm ready. I like how the notification is like, download started in the background. <clears throat> Why are you showing me controller? things off screen. That's not going to help me at all. <laughs> we can't tell what version you're playing anymore. I'm still at the main menu. What is happening on your end? I'm on the tarmac. Already? Mm -hmm. Uh. Group leader loading screen. Am I supposed to. How do I go with you? Great question. So you went to world map, right? I'm yep. guessing. I made a flight plan. And then it didn't take us? It took me. I'm just so confused, and that's really dumb. <laughs> uh, should I back out? Uh, we'll see what pops up, I guess. Can you see my... Group leader. Yeah, I'm still at the main menu, but I can see, like, it's updating your status in the group. And I, I could click on your, I could only click on your profile, and that's it. Well, I don't know how to release my, my parking computer. <laughs> oh, I see you, I see you. Set as departure. Fly. Okay, I'm loading in now. So I went to the world map and then you popped up as like a green dot on the world. Okay, I'm at SeaTac. 
Oh my god. Beachcraft golf. The oh my god, we're in the air. You're in the air? Yeah, we're, I, I think I'm in your game. But you're literally like... Are you just like the co-pilot? I, I guess. So you know how to do the parking brake? Yeah, I got it. Okay, you're in the climbing phase? Totally not. No, I'm like I'm like sitting on the tarmac right now. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah. Excuse me? Oh, why am I in the air? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> I think we need to back I, out I and try this again. <laughs> I just I just figured <laughs> I just figured you were just in the air. No! I like on the ground trying to figure out how to take my parking brake off. By the way, this is like a four hour flight. Four and a half hour flight, so. <laughs> yeah, why is it. Don't see. The the bed the sink. plane is just saying like, don't sink. Yeah, I know the parking brake brake is engaged. Don't sink. Don't Control. Sink. Don't Control. Don't no sink. delete. Is it this? Don't no, sink. Not. Don't sink. Don't sink. Don't sink. Oh, we're gonna do this. Sink. Oh, there you go. I got it. Okay, yeah, we should restart, because I don't know. Well, I'm going to do a barrel roll, but yes, I'll go back to the main <laughs> I bounce off the water. Okay. <laughs> Back to the main menu. See me go into a game. Uh, hang on. We we should. What what plane do you have? It was that jet. But now I just started uh, one of the quick the quick journeys. Hmm. Like discovery flights. Yeah. Yeah, because we're already in the air here. Like instantly. <laughs> Which one did you pick? 
uh, Egypt. What the crap, game? Oh my god, it just turned. Turned like crazy. Set departure. Randall Goose. Hit fly. This game's not really exactly what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Approach Beechcraft Alpha Sierra. X-Ray Golf Sierra Kilo is type Beechcraft King Air Niner miles west of Hotel Echo Alpha Julia, 1,200 feet. I'm sure that's Request a very common statement. to transition statement. Bravo airspace. Except for the few people that are like, Holy oh, shit, this is one of the fucking <laughs> Squawk one five. Boy, oh boy. I, I was hoping I could be in the same Squawk one five six five you? beach craft golf Sierra. Yeah, Kilo. I think they haven't actually added that. I, I know they talked about it, but I just like, think like, it like, sucks because like there's literally a seat right next to you. Like you should be able to just cleared through the Bravo airspace beach craft on, golf Sierra Kilo. Crash in the pyramids here. <laughs> Also, it's kind of hard to, like, sightsee when you're just, like, trying not to crash and everything. Yeah, sightseeing, okay, so... you have to really, like, change your... Oh, there's a flight assistant. I went back to the mid menu. <laughs> Checklist, camera, ATC. Everything got really dark. Okay, main menu. We're in the same party. There. And you said midway, right? Yeah, that's correct. Not, not dupage or Aurora Moon or Lewis University. Uh, it's totally midway. Midway it is. Okay, so let's see. Space for more. Show legend. Filters, man. I'm just trying to see if I can, like, invite you to my plane?
Hmm. Okay, are you at the world map screen? Uh, I am now. Okay, let me know when you click the fly button. I have to... I have to change... I have to actually set the course. Did you set your course already? Yeah. Seattle, Tacoma to Chicago Midway. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Is that even worse? It's gonna take forever. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Well, maybe we'll just crash into a mountain on the way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see anything happening on my side. Like, uh, it still says I have to set the course and everything. Departure and arrival. But first, what's the name of the plane that you're using? Uh, Textron Aviation. That's the C C J four. Oh, I have a Beechcraft King Air. Uh, okay, so that's the brand apparently. So Textron Aviation. J4. Cessna Citation CJ4? Is that what it is? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I still don't I still don't have your coordinates. I think when you hit fly, that's when I could I could select oh. your destination. But then it almost seems All like right. it's too late at that point. I'll just hang out on the tarmac. Okay, I'm gonna check the group group leader at the world map. Okay. Six left. What does that mean? I don't know. Oh, loading Please. screen? No, I swear I am on the tarmac. Okay, now you pop up and it says like you pop up as a green as a green dot and then I could set departure. Okay. So I set you as the departure. And then I could just hit fly. So it, that that's as far I think as it links, and then and then we're just flying together. I'm not even taking off. That's the problem. Like I'm just flying. I think we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm still in the. I can I can click ready to fly. Whatever. I'm taxing to the runway right now. I am in the air. I'm in the air. Follow guidelines and land on designated runway. What? Oh, wait. I think my game froze. 
Yeah, my game froze. I'll be back. Restarting here. <laughs> you already took off and stuff? I'm now in the air, but I'm gonna back out. Installation manager checking for updates. Oh, you're going to showcase it goes into autopilot, I think. Okay, so... Let's see. I think maybe if we just start the same from... Like, the I set the same departure... And the same uh, arrival, and then we could just take off from there. I don't know why it's showing me. It's putting me in Europe or something. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Where are we flying to? What do you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna back out and go right. Well, let's do something short yeah. and see how this even works. Oh, you're still in a group. Oh, wait, no, I just... Are we it. supposed to, like, are we racing to airports? Is that... I don't no. understand. No. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure when we finally see each other, Norm, it's going to be, like, really glitchy and barely there. That's my It'll prediction. be amazing. It's going to be amazing. I have to re-invite you because I have to the group. Okay, so that group thing doesn't come up in the in the it doesn't work in the Xbox menu. It works in the in-game menu. So it comes up as a notification that comes up as group invitation received. <laughs> Do you want to join their group? So I accept. And that's how that works. Okay. And now it says you're at the, the group menu. Uh, my screen says invitation pending. Pending? That's a lie. I'm in the group. Oh, now you're in the group. Okay.
<laughs> Let's fly from SeaTac to Renton. <laughs> okay. It's Ooh, like, actually, I get it. I get it. I don't even know if we can like even do anything in I that short the, amount of time. I wonder if this is on the on the map. No, let's see. Uh, take off from my own work. My old work. I don't even. Know, I don't even know what this. Uh, oh, the Boeing Boeing airfield. Yep. KBFI. I didn't know what's the Renton thing. Renton Mud. There's totally right here. Oh, that's pretty nifty. Okay, that's where we're going. Okay. We're going from KBFI to Kamado One. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. And we'll uh, where is, take a where is that? We'll, hold on, because I think should have showed after I. Is there a seaplane here? There's no seaplanes. I need your arrival airport. I wish I could f just send that to you. Yeah. Because we're like in a group, like. Uh, what plane are you flying? I'm still at that, uh, Textron Aviation Cessna Citation CJ4. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that. I don't think this runway will actually accommodate <laughs> that large of a plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll leave it. We'll, 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 we'll burn that bridge when we get there. Okay, okay. Um, so if you go. Let's see if this works, Mike. Does that show my flight plan now? Uh, is this you? No. It does not. Lame. How are you supposed to fly together, man? <laughs> uh, it's only when you... It's when you hit fly and you load in. Then you pop up on my map. And then I'm able to just pick your your flight path, but I don't even take off. Like, I'm already in the air, which is super weird. But it would t technically work? That looks like yeah. Uh, we'd have the same flight path, but that's pretty much it, so... Oh, can you search for 13W Camino 1? Uh, hang on. What's it called again? Uh, 13W? Camino one. Stanwood? Yep. Okay. Alright. Runways are free. No live airport activity. So let's see, so from where are you taking off from? Boeing? KBFI? Yep. Here, let me let me hit fly and then see what happens. K 
Okay, loading in. Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra ready at runway tree to left north departure. Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra altimeter 29 er decimal 9 er to wind robot, two robot, three robot, three. robot, robot. Departure to the north of the roof. Cleared for takeoff runway tree to left. Cleared for takeoff runway tree to left Cessna X-Ray Golf Sierra. Friends can fly separate planes alongside one another. <laughs> okay, game. Shared cockpit support is planned for a future update. Oh, but that's from August of last year. Oh my god, I just clicked flight assistant AI piloting and she's taking off. <laughs> oh boy. I see you. Landing see you? Here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. I see your name. Taking off. I'm off. You're like 1,500 feet away from me. In front of you? Yeah. There's so much talking in this stuff. I, I'm so used to like that crappy Cessna plane. <laughs> Seattle approach Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra 4,500 feet. Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Seattle approach altimeter two nine or decimal nine or two continue as planned. Who doesn't like my air speed? 
Over speed. Oh, you are way below me. What happened? Seattle Center, Cessna Alpha, Sierra, X-Ray Golf, Sierra 7100. Yeah. Cessna Alpha, Sierra, X-Ray Golf, Sierra, Seattle Center, Altimeter, 2-Niner, Decimal, Niner. Are you, like, really low? I am really low. Okay. I'm above. Seattle Center, Cessna Alpha, Sierra, X-Ray Golf, Sierra. Request clearance to transition Bravo airspace. Cessna Alpha, Sierra, X-Ray Golf, Sierra, Seattle Center. Clear through Bravo airspace. Clear through Bravo airspace, Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Over speed. Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra, you're leaving my airspace. Resume on navigation. Contact Seattle approach on 125 decimal niner. Good day. Over speed. Over speed. Going to 125 decimal niner, Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Right there. Uh, what's funny is I think if you slow down a little bit. Okay. Okay. Am I gaining on you? I'm not gaining. Still not game. I don't know where you went now. Over Seattle Center, Cessna Alpha, Sierra, X Ray Golf, Sierra, 9,400 feet. Over speed. Over speed. 118 decimal to Cessna X Ray Golf, Sierra. When we approach Cessna Alpha, Sierra, X Ray Golf, Sierra, 8,800 feet. Over speed. 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 Over uh, speed. Seems like you went really low Over and then you disappeared off my Over speed. screen. Over speed. Because oh, wow. I'm bouncing off the water. Oh, wow. <laughs> Over speed. Over speed. You want to restart Over it? Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over yes. speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Uh, at, the, at the menu, and then there's a, like a restart option, at least for me. Yeah. Restart. Right. Restart. Restart. I'll see if I can catch up to you. That was the, that was the problem. Like I couldn't catch up to you. Uh, I also use the option, so like your name tag pops up. Yeah, I don't know what option you're using for that. Uh, start menu. Let's see if I could find it. Uh, general. Oh. Uh, no, that's not it. Miscellaneous?
co-pilot avatars? How about random? <laughs> Uh, show traffic nameplates under traffic. So, general options, traffic, show traffic nameplates. Yep, I got it. Are you back on the airfield? Uh, not yet. Oh, I see you, though. Oh, awesome. Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra. Ready. Okay, I'm ready. To ready to fly. To the north. Cleared for takeoff runway tree two left Cessna X-ray Golf Sierra. Uh, you're behind me, so you take off first. I'm behind you? Oh boy. I'm using the external uh, camera, external camera to find you this whole time. 
I slow down to this. Oops. So low. Over speed. Over speed. Take this out the sound, man. <laughs> I feel like that's as close as I can get. Otherwise, I'm like gonna crash into you. Oh my god, how are we supposed to land on this thing? Great question. <laughs> Again, I, I, I know it's too small. I know it's too small. I'm pretty sure it's too much weight. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed. Over speed.
I don't even see your name tag anymore. Oh, I'm right above you. Oh, you're above me? Oh, that's why. I never looked up. Oh my god, is this it? Yep. Looks like we're landing in like a corn field. Uh, basically. <laughs> oh my god. What? Traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Tree miles southeast, 2,500 feet inbound to land runway tree. Have you got to like fly way out there and come back? I guess. Probably, yeah. Yeah, that's it. You got a southwest entry like I do? I have no idea what kind of runway you have us going to, so oh, this I is gonna be interesting like that. This is gonna yeah. be interesting. Yeah, you can cross underneath. Going across the bay? Uh, my plane just keeps saying over speed. Over speed. 
I'll breastfeed. <laughs> oh, yes, I know. Oh my god. Okay. I gotta get how low here? Like super low. But don't do what I did. Don't try to turn when you're super low. <laughs> <laughs> I can see your plane. Oh my god, I'm really hoping that this line is what I need. Landing gear out. Oh, it's a highway. <laughs> what am I looking for? Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a tiny. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh no. Oh no. It is a comically small <laughs> airstream. <laughs> oh no. Well, this is going to get very entertaining very quickly. So I'm going to fly outwards and then turn around and come back. Because at least now I know. Turning. Turning. Stall. 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 Landing gears out. I'm just going to say that I am going to land near the airport, even though technically I'm already landed in the water. <laughs> I'm just kind of scooting towards the airport from the water. <laughs> I missed it. Stall. Landing here. Stall. Stall. I'm in the train. Stall. <laughs> Stall. 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 Oh, I can't. That was close. That was close. I think you have to come at it. Yeah. Yeah, I came at it from the lane like it did, but that's not a good idea. Alright, 
one more try. You have picked the tightest airport to land a jet. Oh, yeah. Yep. Like I said, yeah, we probably should have gotten like smaller planes. I think smaller planes. Oh uh, yeah. Be doable. Or just a larger airport. <laughs> <laughs> like either, either like a regular giant airport or well, I don't know about you, but I'm about to make the airport <laughs> by water as I slowly descend through the water. <laughs> Oh, I found! <laughs> <laughs> I found this too fast. I came in too fast. Did you take back back off immediately? Yeah, I, so, I like I came in so fast that it was just bounce. <laughs> Thing Did you, is it because you like playing no longer exists. <laughs> oh, it exists. I'm just upside down. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. <laughs> Landing here. Landing here. I see your name. Landing now. here. Landing here. <laughs> Climbing the hill. <laughs> Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Landing here. Oh, Landing over here. here. <laughs> Landing here. Did you make Landing it? Landing here. <laughs> Landing here. <laughs> Landing here. You made it. <laughs> Landing here. Landing here. Oh, Landing man. Here. I could take out the landing. I'm upside down. Like, I, there's nothing I can do. Okay, what is the actual? Yeah, it is. Okay. Oh, you're on the water on the other side. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm upside down. Like dead. Wait, how do I put my brake back on? Here. 
I could only put out. I could like retract the landing gear, and that's it. Which makes you completely stop. I, I retract my landing gear, and I was just like completely dead in the water. But then I put it back out, and it was like, now you can just scoot slowly across the water. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no problem. You obviously landed like forward and were able to use the wheels. I yeah. I crashed. And I'm upside I down. Landed, so. Yeah, I was going to say, I landed gently. Uh, toggle active pause. You could just save. Like, turn my engine off. <laughs> you could actually save. Um. Disconnected the battery? <laughs> Things are just falling off as you like switch. You like flip some toggles. Yeah. I need to change. Oh, wait. I, I'm going let's... back into where you are. I'm going to totally switch the plane out and let's see if I can actually land this. Yeah, I'm down to try it again with the actual plane that can actually land at this thing. Uh, if you stay there, I can actually see. Like, let's see if I can see you, because that would oh, be yeah. pretty no, funny. Totally. Oh, see, it says uh, when I when you show up on the map. I just select, uh, this is my departure. So then it just throws me wherever you, like, above you or around you. Huh. Oh my god, I'm behind you. Traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X-Ray Golf Sierra 1 miles north 600 feet inbound to land runway tree 4. Turning this thing back around and see if I can land right behind you. I took off behind you. Can I land right behind you? 
I definitely tried to move out of your way, and now I'm like off to the side of the. Oh road. God, I was using you as. A... Yeah, that's why I said something. You definitely look like you're flying in though. Ah, you may be all right. <laughs> it's a short runway. That's that's the road, but hey. There you go. Ooh. You just played out uh, what my greatest fear driving by that airport is. <laughs> is man, if someone were to overshoot that, you're going right into the fucking road. Wow, you're. Uh, your, engine. your uh your plane is so shiny it's very shiny yeah when i pull up basic controls it shows me nothing <laughs> does it consider it done Whiskey traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf Sierra is clear of the runway. One tree whiskey traffic Cessna Alpha Sierra X ray Golf uh, Sierra is I think clear you of the should runway. Pick a short trip somewhere. End the flight. It says end the flight. Oh, yeah. End flight. How do you end flight? Objective end flight. Yeah, but how? By stopping mid engine, right? Oh. Let's see. Controls. Systems modifier, toggle pause. Oh, that's the quick way to change the camera. That's cool. Brakes. Toggle parking brakes. Maybe? There we go. Engine. Toggle master ignition switch. Alt I. But of course. Man. Nope, that didn't do anything. Shift Alt Q. No, I don't think that's anything here.
How to end flight. So shut off engine, shut off auxiliary power. Or you could turn off, turn on autopilot and it just does it itself. Oh, so just go to flight assistance. AI piloting. Oh, that didn't do anything. It might have been because I already crashed this into the water. This thing is taking off by itself. I mean, I did find the engine starter. Why is this sending me into a wall? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it just stopped. Okay. The music reminds me of the Wii Sports theme song. Right? Or like a golf game? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Welcome to PGA. To install the the updates, the world updates, I have to. It's 22 gigs. Mm -hmm. But it keeps stopping. Oh, you're just gonna watch the stream, I guess? Is that what you're gonna- you said you're gonna go eat? 
No. Uh, no, I said you should pick up. You should pick a place. A short flight. Yeah. From point A to point B. We'll fly that. And then I'll go. Okay. <laughs> it's already like seven o'clock by then. Yeah. Let's do. Uh, <laughs> let's do. Uh, uh, Midway. Midway Airport to O'Hare Airport, and that should be. You're you're literally flying on the west side, like far west side, like point A to point B of Chicago. So you said, what's what? Uh, so departure is midway. Okay. Uh, hang on. And then uh, arrival would be. Uh... Oh man, it's gonna be dark. Uh, O'Hare. Chicago executive? Uh, that's weird. That's weird. Oh, there we go. Runway 16? Runway 12? You pick, you get to pick, like, what, uh, what crazy, uh, yeah, because it's an actual rendered airport or whatever. Which gate did you say? Uh, hang on. I didn't know that there were even more. <laughs> Wait, I don't think that's the right one. What happened? I am confused, game. What happened? Because it totally, like, lets you choose it, right? And then it's like, it changes it. Cause didn't that say O'Hare and now it says Chicago Executive? Yeah, I just zoom in a bunch for it to get to O'Hare. Like it highlights O'Hare, but then it selects you have to like zoom in more. Uh what have I done? Uh just select it again and deselect executive. And then zoom in more. And it should show O'Hare. Ah, uh, got it. Ah, uh, let's go for... Runway 4... Oh, oh I'm sorry. 4R, four 04R four runway. 04R runway. I am in a Textron Aviation Cessna 152, a tiny. I'm just in a diamond aircraft. <laughs> Which one is yours? The Cessna 152 Textron Aviation Cessna 152. One fifty two? Uh huh.
Uh, where are you taking off from? That doesn't matter. I'm at runway 31C at midway. Oh, I don't even know. There we go. Loading in. Now, Midway's a tinier airport, so we should be able to see each other. Uh, if you take a straight shot, you're never, you're not going to go flying into downtown. So I want to see how that looks, and then and then come back out. Oh my god, it's so so just lit up. All these random lights. <laughs> All right, I'm ready to fly. Ready to fly. I can't see anything. I do not know where I have to go. Oh no. My game froze. Again. <laughs> yeah, game froze. I will come. Darn. Uh, well, one thing, the big problem here is, like, I don't know what the colors mean, right? So I don't know where to actually navigate. Well, I'm pretty sure... Like, that's, like, hardcore airport stuff. Like, oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> Press any button to start. All right, back in. I can just select you. I'm still just sitting on the airfield. Loading in. I am in the air. He's in the air. All right, hang on. It's like, uh, because I picked you, so then I don't think there's any room, so it's just like, well, we're just gonna throw you up in the air. Oh, right, because we're not actually in a group now? We're still in the same group, I think. Yeah, for some reason, I'm still in the same group.
Because I'm able to see you. It'd be really funny to like take different take different runways when they crisscross. <laughs> that seems terrible. I'm back in. Selecting my my flight path here. Oh, All okay, right. that's where. Loading you're... back in. Yeah, I, I picked a different uh, runway because otherwise I, they're not gonna put our uh, planes on top of each other. I'm at runway 31C. Yeah, I picked one that was, like, adjacent to you, but, like, if we start at the same time, we're totally crashing into each other. Can you see? I don't know if you can see me. Uh, let's see you. I also don't know where I have to go. Uh, just go to flight assist and then display direction. Flight assist. Flight assistance. And it'll be like the, the like target reticle. menu broken now? Because I can't bring anything else up. Oh, wow. It froze again. <laughs> Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Wow. One more 